Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Over Christmas break, I got really busy making all sorts of things. Most of the things I made were 3D printed. This is the CraftBot Plus. It's my absolute favorite printer. I think it's the best value overall. The user interface and slicing software is the easiest I've ever seen. It offers uh, ultimate ease of use and ultimate customization if you really want it. And the printer just produces uh, unbelievably good parts and it just is a workhorse. One of the things I printed recently is this little 3D printed rocket here. Obviously this was printed in multiple segments from different colors um, and stability tests show that yes it will fly. Unfortunately it is 22 degrees out today so it'll be a while before I actually get out and fly this thing. But this is just something I wanted to show you to kind of what some capabilities of 3D prints are. It's amazing what you can do. Uh, I only print just functional parts that I design myself because it's I think the most fun. But so this little rocket here just uses um, Estes Mini Motors, sized accordingly. The motor mount and launch lug is integrated, printed from translucent filament so that you can see the motor in there, just because I think that was kind of cool. And then it is held in place simply by a little paper clip that I uh, chopped off. I think very few paper clips are actually used to clip paper. I know I almost never use it for that. The fins, of course, were just dovetailed in. So they slide into the motor mount here and then snap in place. The body tube is just uh, a snap on to the motor mount. And then this little cargo pod up here was something of a splurge, but I think it adds a nice little bit of pizzazz to the front end of the rocket. It snaps on, uh, it's an inch in diameter, it's two inches tall, and you could put, I don't know, something in there. Uh, the nose cone, of course, then is hollow as well in case it's a slightly longer piece of cargo. I'm not sure what you might want to put in there, a beetle or something or maybe just a little bit of money. Who knows? But this was a really fun project. My son really enjoyed it. He's really anxious to get, get out in there and fly it. Uh, hopefully it'll warm up soon. We can go out to a field somewhere and launch this puppy. Anytime I'm doing any sort of clearance on parts, I'm going to add 20 thousandths of an inch or half a millimeter. I actually designed this guy in millimeters, which was almost a first for me. I'm an inches guy. And uh, the motors, though, are in millimeters. The printer's in millimeters. I thought, well, why not maybe just try something in millimeters for once? And it worked out really, really well. But anytime you need two parts to fit together, I'm always going to add on this CraftBot half a millimeter or 20 thousandths of an inch to get a nice tight fit that still slips on but still can come apart if you need it to. Well, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.